Good morning, everyone. Now, today we're going to be doing revising of clocks and time. Now, I wonder how much you can remember. Now, on this next slide, I've drawn a particular time on this clock. Do you notice? I've got the long hand to the 12 and the short hand pointing to the 6. So we know it's o'clock. Do you notice that the short hand, which tells us the hour, is pointing to the 6? That's right. So we know then that it is 6 o'clock. Remember, the long hand always tells us the minutes. Okay, and when it's at the 12, we know it's at o'clock. Right, now let's have a look at how the long hand goes around the clock face. Let's have a look. Um, so, first of all, let's make um, the clock move around. We'll make the long hand move around the clock. If it's moved from... Um, from twelve, uh, from the twelve, at six o'clock, we're going to make it move to the next number round. Let's just quickly do that. It moves around five minutes at a time. So now it's five past six. Next, we're going to make it move to the two here. And then we know that it is then ten past six. Because it moved from the 5 past to 10 past. Each time it passes by one of these numbers, remember, 5 more minutes is added on. So now let us go to this one here. And it's at pointing now to the 3, just after the 3. And that means it is 15 past 6, which means quarter past 6. Let us make it go now to this number here. And we know now that it is 20 past 6. Right, so as it goes each 5 minutes more, each time it's 5 minutes more, and then we know that when it gets then to the 5, what will the time be? Let's draw the last hand that we're going to make, and it's pointing to the 5. We then know it is 25 past 6, and you will continue the activity in your books. I hope that you have fun.